School administrators in Ara City are calling upon the government's intervention over the shortage of infrastructure, teachers, and furniture as it has affected the school's operation and performances of students in schools. Just as Oloto Alema, the head teacher of Pokea Primary School, stated that the school has a population of 1,500 students and yet it is faced with challenges of shortage of classrooms and furniture as primary one and primary two students are seated on the floors. The infrastructure in the school is not enough, ranging from classrooms up to furniture in the classrooms. As a result, my P1 and P2 are sitting on the floor. They don't have desks to sit on. Maybe P4, P5, uh, P3, those who have got a chance of sitting the, on, I mean, okay, on a desk are even so squeezed. So, uh, yeah, so squeezed that uh, they don't even have a free way of writing. We are receiving capitation grant, but the capitation grant really cannot allow us to build new classrooms and even cannot allow us to buy this. Otherwise, the government, according to UP policy, we're even not supposed to use capital on the ground for buying things like desks or even building houses. My appeal to the government is let the government continue with the, the former program. They started of building classrooms, even equipping them with the furniture. All right, thank you. And so at much. least take it for care to be a priority. Vento Ofeti, the head teacher of Aripenzu Primary School, stated that due to the shortage of facilities, students have failed to return to schools. He further stated that the school wishes to embrace ICT, but only has one computer, which has been shared by all the teachers in the school. Uh, one of the challenges we are facing here is infrastructure. As you see, the structures here. The first structure, this long one, six rooms are constructed by parents, and uh, they are now now in bad states. So we don't know what to do. Children are suffering. They had a second block, only four rooms, which was built by the government. And up to today, our children are suffering. The population come in a large number in first time after seeing the structures disappear. And some of them will drop home because of the poor infrastructure. And even secondly, one in the West ICT, but the school has only one lab of computer. But we have agreed as teachers every Thursdays as PCPD. We trained ourselves in the computer so that we can be able to help our learners. But because our computer numbers are not enough, children are literally left behind because of the ICT knowledge due to lack of computer. Good enough, I have about 14 teachers. Out of 14, uh, the 10 teachers are literate. They can touch and operate computer a little bit, but the three are experts. So they can be able to taught them, uh, teach themselves within within the school so that we impress the city and then this knowledge is transferred to the learners. We have about uh, 1,550 uh, learners in the school. Uh, due to this uh, overwhelming number, then the structures are not enough. Leoni Natalia, the head teacher of Neo Primary School, stated that the school faces challenges of shortage of teachers, infrastructure and furniture as students lack the facilities they need to enable them to have a good learning experience. I'm also grateful for the government of Uganda for giving us infrastructure for our learners to learn. But the challenge we have is though government has given us the structure, they are not enough. Some of the children have nowhere to sit, desks are not enough, classrooms are not enough, even the teachers. Because according to our environment, we are 1,488, uh, where we are supposed to have uh, 22 teachers, but teachers are 17 only. So that is our biggest challenge here. We are meant to give us more infrastructure. The school administrators of Aurora City are therefore decrying for the government of Uganda's intervention towards the matter. Okumaringa Christine, for us now television, now cast.